हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई एम विथ ए सीरियस सब्जेक्ट ऑफ वेल्डिंग क्रैक्स इन द वेल्डिंग दिस इज वेरी सीरियस इफ इट कॉन्सर्न टू प्रोडक्शन वेल्डिंग वी विल नो ऑल्सो द टाइप्स ऑफ क्रैक द रीजन हाउ वाई एंड वेन द क्रैक कम्स वॉट इज द रेमिडी लेट एस डिस्कस इन डिटेल दिस इज ऑल्सो ए वेरी फेवरेट चैप्टर और वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट चैप्टर वाइल वी विल बी डूइंग आवर वेल्डिंग इंस्पेक्टर कोर्स सी स्वीप और ए डब्ल्यू एस वट एवर क्रैकिंग वेन कॉन्सिडरिंग एनी टाइप ऑफ क्रैकिंग मेकानिजम थ्री एलिमेंट्स मस्ट ऑलवेज बी प्रेजेंट विदाउट प्रेजेंस ऑफ वन ऑफ दिस थ्री क्रैक कैन नॉट ऑकर इन ए वेल्ड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इज द स्ट्रेस द रेसिडुअल स्ट्रेस इज ऑलवेज प्रेजेंट इन ए वेलमेंट थ्रू अनबैलेंस्ड लोकल एक्सपेंशन एंड कंट्रैक्शन रेस्ट्रेंट द रेस्ट्रेंट मे बी ए लोकल रेस्ट्रिक्शन और थ्रू प्लेट्स बींग वेल्डेड टू ईच अदर एंड द थर्ड वन इज द ससेप्टेबल माइक्रो स्ट्रक्चर दैट मीन्स सम मेटल्स आर ऑलवेज प्रोन टू क्रैकिंग फॉर एग्जाम्पल कास्ट आयरन वेल्डिंग ऑफ कास्ट आयरन इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट सो दे आर माइक्रो स्ट्रक्चर्स मे बी मेड ससेप्टेबल टू क्रैकिंग बाय द प्रोसेस ऑफ वेल्डिंग ऑल दिस थ्री फैक्टर्स इफ प्रेजेंट इन ए वेलमेंट यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट क्रैक देयर सो नीड टू बी वेरी केयरफुल टू एलिमिनेट at least one of these three causes let us uh, have a technical definition of crack imperfection produced by a local rupture in the solid state which may arise from the effect of cooling and stresses cracks are more significant than any other types of imperfection in welding as their geometry produces a very large stress concentration at the crack tip making them more likely to cause fracture and failure of the part types of crack longitudinal traverse cracks radiating from a common point crater crack branching group or connected cracks originated from a common crack the cracks can be situated in the well metal in the heat affected zone or the parent metal exception crater cracks are found only in the well metal depending on the nature these cracks can be hot that is solidification or liquefaction crack precipitation induced crack that is reheat cracks present in creep resistant steel and coal crack that is hydrogen induced crack which is also termed as delayed cracks and lamellar theory hot cracks depending on the location and mode of occurrence hot cracks can be solidification crack occurs in the weld metal usually along the center line of the weld as a result of the solidification process and liquefaction crack occurs in the coarse grain heat affected zone or has in the near vicinity of the fusion line as a result of heating the material to an elevated temperature high enough to produce liquefaction of the low melting point constituents present on grain boundaries solidification crack solidification cracks can occur when oil metal has a high carbon or impurity especially more sulfur the depth to width ratio of the solidifying oil bead is large the oil groove is very deep and narrow disruption of the heat flow condition occurs example start and stop condition the cracks can be wide and open to the surface like shrinkage voids or subsurface and possibly narrow solidification cracking is most likely to occur in compositions and result in a wide freezing temperature range in steel this is commonly created by a higher than a normal content of carbon and impurity element such as sulfur and phosphorus these elements segregate during solidification so that intergranular liquid films remain after the bulk of the weld has solidified 
the thermal shrinkage of the cooling well bit can cause these to rupture and form a crack sulfur enriched liquid film which is entrapped inside the welding causes solidification crack it is important that welding fabricator does not weld on or near metal surface covered with a scale or contaminated with oil and grease scale can have a high sulfur content and oil and grease can supply both carbon and sulfur so contamination with low melting points such as copper tin lead zinc should also be avoided during welding hydrogen induced crack hydrogen induced crack occurs primarily in the grain coarsened region of the heat affected zone and is also known as cold delayed or underbreed toe cracking it lies parallel to the fusion boundary and its path usually a combination of inter and transgranular cracking the direction of the principal residual tensile stress can in toe cracks cause the crack path to grow progressively away from the fusion boundary towards a region of lower sensitivity to hydrogen cracking when it happens the crack growth rate decreases and eventually arrests four factors are necessary to cause heat affected zone hydrogen cracking if one reason is absent this crack might not take place hydrogen level is more than 15 mm per 100 g of oil metal deposited stress is greater than 0.5 of yield stress temperature less than 300 degree centigrade susceptible microstructure which is greater than 400 hv if any one of the factor is not satisfied cracking is prevented so can be avoided through control of one or more factors some of the preventive measures can be applying preheat to slow down the cooling rate and thus avoid the formation of susceptible microstructure maintain a interplus temperature same effect as preheat post heat on completion of the weld to reduce the hydrogen content by allowing hydrogen to diffuse from the weld area apply pwst to reduce residual stress and eliminate susceptible microstructure reduce weld metal hydrogen by proper selection of weld process or consumable that means using teak welding instead of manual metal arc welding basic copper electrodes instead of cellulose electrodes use a multi run instead of a single run technique and eliminate susceptible microstructure by self tempering effect which reduce hydrogen content by allowing hydrogen to diffuse from the weld area use a temper bead or hot pass technique use austenitic or nickel filler to avoid susceptible microstructure formation and allow hydrogen to diffuse out of critical areas use dry shielding gases to reduce hydrogen content clean rust from joint to avoid hydrogen contamination from moisture present in the rust reduce residual stress blend the oil profile to reduce stress concentration at the toes of the weld lamellar tearing lamellar tearing occurs only in the rolled steel products primarily plates and its main distinguishing feature is that the cracking has a terraced appearance cracking occurs in joints where a thermal contraction strain occurs in the thorough thickness direction of steel plate non metallic inclusions are present at very thin platelets with their principal planes parallel to the plate surface it is a planar defect that's why the name is lamellar tearing contraction strain imposed on the planar non metallic inclusion results in the progressive decohesion to form the roughly rectangular holes which are the horizontal parts of the cracking parallel to the plate surface with further strain the vertical parts of the cracking are produced generally by ductile shear cracking these two stages create the terraced appearance of these cracks the main options available to control the problem in welding joints liable to lamellar tearing 
to use a clean steel with guaranteed thorough thickness properties z grade a combination of joint design restraint control and welding sequence to minimize the risk of cracking methods of avoiding lamellar tearing avoid restraint use controlled low sulfur plate grind out surface and butter change the joint design use a forged t piece for critical applications intergranular corrosion crack type is intergranular corrosion location is welding hatch steel types is for stainless steels microstructure is sensitized grain boundaries it is occurs when an area in the has has been sensitized by the formation of chromium carbides this area is in the form of a line running parallel to and on both sides of the weld this depletion of chromium will leave the affected grains low in chromium oxide which is what produces the corrosion resistance effect of stainless steel if it is left untreated corrosion and failure will be very rapid you can see a schematic diagram of intergranular corrosion when heated in the range of 600 to 850 degree centigrade chromium carbides form at the grain boundaries this chromium migrates to the site of the growing carbide we have a brief idea of all the types of crack why it is happen their prevention hope this will help you to increase your knowledge if you like my teaching please don't forget to like the video and share and subscribe to your friends thanks again signing off showman